For nearly 30 years, a Lexington-based nonprofit has been a beacon of hope for the homeless. Dejana Wilson takes us to the Catholic Action Center, where leaders are working tirelessly to give back to the unhoused this holiday season. You know, we serve hundreds of people every day here at the center, but there's something special about Thanksgiving because this is the gratitude meal. This is the meal that not only f fills the belly, but fills the soul. For 29 years, the Faith and Community Meal has been at the forefront of Thanksgiving Day here at the Catholic Action Center as members of the community give back, volunteering their time to help serve those in need. I bring my children also because I want them to see that even though we might not have much. There's a lot of people who have less than we have. For 10 years, outgoing First District Council member Tana Fogel has joined Jenny Ramsey, the director of the center, each Thanksgiving to meet the homeless where they are. This year, a number of them are housed in hotels around Lexington under the city's current emergency shelter plan. In last year, Hope Village took care anywhere between two, you know, 250 people a night, all, but there were over a thousand who came and went. But with nearly all shelter spaces in the city full, Ramsey says 95 hotel rooms isn't enough to support Lexington's homeless population. You know, get some more hotel rooms, figure out how to expand this, because this year the numbers, number of beds available is less than last year, and this year, the number of homeless have increased. Gregory C. Wright is homeless and hopes city leaders are taking note that more needs to be done. We need a chance. We need just a little bit of help to get our feet through the door. Let us get through the door. And you see a whole different person. You say, why was this person homeless? Fogel says this is why on Tuesday she'll be asking her fellow council members to provide more aid to help with the issue. But in the meantime, on this Thanksgiving, she and others will continue to serve those in need. Those interested in helping with the homeless population in Lexington can contact the Catholic Action Center. In Lexington, Dejana Wilson, Fox 56 News.